Hi everybody! Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna blog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I talk about spiritual concepts that I believe will help me be a more positive person and be able to more readily manifest my heart's desire and so hopefully it'll help everybody else too that happens to be watching. Um, so I had started a series on the 12 spiritual laws which are basically energetic laws that teach us how to manage all the energy that we are subject to in a human incarnation incarnation. And if you can really grasp these laws, you can pretty much manifest anything you want. And so the, the next law that we're going to talk about today is the law of cause and effect number five. And so basically, the law of cause and effect says that for every action, there's a reaction. So even a thought, right, that would be negative would come back in a negative way. Okay, so for every single thing we do, we have to be very, very conscious. And we have to be conscious in not just our thoughts and our words, especially, but our actions. Because it's almost like this is the law of karma. Because, you know, people say, oh, you're, you know, karmic law is going to come back on you. But this is a more instantaneous response. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to do this and that's going to have a reaction. Everything that we do has a consequence. And sometimes I think we all go through life thinking, you know, that we can just do whatever and think whatever and say whatever and feel whatever without any consequences. But guess what? Everything, and I mean everything, has a consequence. So this is a ju just another reason. And all of these laws are really reiterating and reaffirming why we need to remain positive and why we need to be conscious of everything we think, speak, or do. You know, be conscious in all of your affairs because it's going to come back. And I believe that we all want to manifest positive abundance and joy and prosperity and love and all these magnificent things in our life, which we can. But I think that people forget, of course, I, you know, this is all for me primarily. And then hopefully I'll help others understand these things. But it's like, if you don't remember these things, it's so easy to get bogged down in the heaviness of this dimension and all the crap. You know, because there's so much crap going on right now. Oh my God, I am sweating. Ooh, boy, I'm literally dripping down my back in my... Woohoo! It's a 131, and that's in here, and that's always when I start <laughs> to drip. Anyway, so it's just so important to remember these things because, as I was saying, right now with what's going on in the world and our country and all the divisiveness and all the heaviness, it's really easy to get bogged down in despair and or anger and or resentment and or feeling like a victim and feeling like it's too heavy to deal with because they're just too much stuff. But see, if we take these spiritual laws and we really practice them, then we can transform our own personal reality into something magnificent, regardless of what's going on around us. And it's more difficult when everything around us is heavy and awful, you know? And I'm not saying everything's awful, but there's a lot of awfulness right around. If you just, if you watch the news, it's just like nonstop negativity. And you can't even really do that without having some sort of effect on yourself, bringing your vibration down. So I say don't watch TV <laughs> and certainly don't watch the news if you can help it, but that's another story. Anyway, so the law of cause and effect. Be aware of what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, because there's always a consequence, okay? And we want only positive consequences for both ourselves and the world at large, right? Isn't that the idea or part of the idea? So 
going to meditate on that now and manifest a beautiful day. It's pouring rain in Southern California, but still got to make things happen. All right. So everybody have an amazing, amazing day and blessings, blessings, blessings to you all. And thank you so much for tuning in and please support my Patreon account. It's, um, I'll put a link, but it really helps me continue to be able to do this because it costs money. It takes time and energy and I got to be able to still live and whatever. <laughs> and please subscribe. That, that would just really make, you know, my work more worthwhile to me if I know that I'm helping others. It really would. I, that's what I really want to do is help everybody understand these, not just myself. So please subscribe and oh, peace.